So this is the row H bag sort for bag number two, which is H7 through 13. And that's what this is. And then we have two four and a half inch blocks left over from the last time. And those are for H8 and H12. So we're gonna mark these H8 and H12. And then I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna set these aside so that we can get to them when we're there. So I'm gonna bring out my book and I'm using a first edition, Dear Jane. I'm not exactly sure all the nuances and difference in the second edition, but I wanted to make sure I pointed that out. And so now we are gonna get into this bag. Okay, so H7 is our first one and it's gonna be an Ohio Star, but it is a modified block, so we're gonna work from the booklet. So all they did was removed the sashings around the outside. Why do we have to work from this versus that when it's the same block? The reason is these are laser cut pieces to the shape that they are. And sometimes these triangles and these kits are really close together. So like for example, this is a little bigger than this, but it's gonna fit here. So if you didn't have this, you wouldn't know that taking this off would have turned it into this size. So I'm gonna go ahead and find my pieces. I've got 16 triangles and five squares I gotta look for in this pile and I'll sort the rest of them out into similar looking pieces so they're easy to find for the next round. So there's five squares that are the only ones that come close. So those are the ones for this block and there's 16 triangles of this size, but there's a lot of triangles in here. These are slightly bigger, and then there's bunches of them, bunches of them that are smaller. But there's exactly 16 that fit. They're all the, exactly the same size, because I checked. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lay all these out. So I've got all my pieces laid out. I think they got a little humid because they're sticking up a little bit. So um, they created a little bit of an issue. So I'm gonna label all of these H7 next. So I've got all my pieces labeled H7. Next thing to do is to mark the focus fabric. And this is a standard, it's hard to see maybe because of the reflection, but this is a standard Ohio star. We're gonna start in the center with focus fabric and then the triangles that directly touch it are gonna be background. And then the ones here are gonna be focus fabric. And the one out here is gonna be background. So these outside squares are gonna be background. The center one is focus fabric. And then the um, triangles that have the points up and down on these, and these are gonna be focus fabric. And these are gonna be focus fabric. So we've got this, and then we've got two here, two here, two here, two here. The rest is background. If you have a directional concern, go ahead and mark them now. I'm gonna go ahead and get these bagged up and we can move on to the next block. Next, we're gonna sort A8. A8 is a modified block. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the booklet here. And this is also one of the four and a half inch squares that we have, and it's gonna be background colored so I don't have to mark anything on it other than the block number. So I'm going to set this aside and the only difference really is that they've because they put it on a four and a half inch square they've simplified the way that this corners go together but essentially it looks the same at the end of the day. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this here and I have most of these pieces in a and all the Kirby pieces and the little one and then the other one I think I put over here somewhere yeah so I just need to find the pieces for the circle which are right here and then I need to find 16 of these little triangles which are going to be in this pile of different size triangles I'm going to go ahead and sort those out so there are three sizes that I could tell out of these triangles and there are 
16 of one size, which are these. And these fit, if you look, if you set it up just right, you can see that it will intersect the black line exactly at the halfway point. I say that because this one is slightly smaller, but if you were not terribly picky, well, it fits inside the black line, but it's actually slightly smaller. If you look at this, if I line up the points, there's a stair step there. And so that's not the right size. Okay, and then there's another size that's even a little bigger. It fits just the same kind of way, but it's, well, maybe those are the same size. I don't know, but they're not the right size. There's, so there's 16 of these, and then there's a bunch of these other ones. Well, let's see if these are the same size. Yeah, these are the same size. So when they're the same size, if you line up the bottom and or they line up the tip, the bottom comes up exactly lined up. If they're not the same size, there's a stair step at the bottom. So make sure that you're really picky about these little triangles on this bag because there's a lot of them that are close together. And that's a lot of them that aren't the right size. So I went through every single triangle to make sure that I had all 16 the exact same size because when you start to put them together, that difference can add up, especially after all these different things. And so you may not think it matters, but it could matter. So why, why borrow trouble? Let's start with the exact right thing at the beginning so you don't have to think about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay these out now. So on these little pieces here, one side is flat and one side is slightly curved. So the slightly curved goes outside. Again, I know that some people are like, why, why is it a big deal? Well, let's just trying to keep our best foot forward here. These are got curves on the end of them as well. And uh, so I just wanted to point this out so that you have the curved side on the correct end. And you can mark it if you want so that once you put it on fabric, you can see. But usually you can tell when it's on fabric. But I'm gonna finish laying these out. So I got my pieces all laid out. Now I'm gonna mark them with H8. Now I need to label my focus fabric. And so in the center, the bars are gonna be background and the curved sections are gonna be focus fabric. And then on the outside, the um, focus fabric is gonna go like this. So we're gonna have these two Oops. And then these two. And then I'm gonna have these two. And these two. So then that it creates an illusion here in each corner that it's a half square triangle because this is gonna be focused fabric against the square of the background. So. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bag these up and we can get to the next one. Now we move on to H9. H9 is also a modified block, so we're gonna go to the booklet and we've they've simplified all of this drama. So we have four of the diamonds and then these trapezoid shapes, there should be eight of those and then four corner triangles that I need to find and here's the diamonds that I've already separated out because there's only one option for those and then these guys sitting here I'm gonna set these aside because these trapezoids are gonna be or these diamonds are gonna be on top of the trapezoid so they're gonna be appliqued so I'm gonna set these out here while I get these laid out and then I have to find my four triangles for the corner so there's eight total triangles, four of one size and four of another. And again, they're really close in size. So make sure that you're paying attention. The one that is smaller, see how the stair step here? One that's smaller is not for this block. Because if we put this here, we see that it lines up a little short. And that's not, for the booklet, they are exactly the way that they were cut. Rather than if they're off in the book, they're not, they're all, not always exact sometimes. But in this booklet, they are. 
because this is what they use to make the pieces and then laser cut them. So I've got four of those pieces and now I can lay out the rest. So I just want to make a note on these trapezoid things. Um, these, as they are now, don't really matter which way you go. They're the same distance. So whether you have it that way or this way, it's not going to be a big deal until you put fabric on it, especially if you have, a, have some kind of a pattern. So make sure that you notate any directional issues that you may have. It's better to have markings you don't need than to not have markings you do need. So let me finish up with these and then I can label them. So I've got my pieces all laid out and I'm gonna label all of these H9. Okay, now I'm gonna label focus fabric and we have all of the diamonds are gonna be focus fabric that get applique on. And then every other trapezoid, the triangles and the outside are background. So every, one, every other one of these. So just pick one and then skip around because it doesn't matter. And then you're gonna applique these onto the background pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and bag these up. If you have a directional that you need to notate, now's the time. And we can move on to H10. H10 is the next one. We're going to work directly from the Dear Jane book. And those four medium sized triangles are going to be for this. And I'm going to make sure that there's 16 of these. I haven't counted them. And it looks like there might be, but I'm going to double check. And then we've got these rectangles. So let me get these all laid out. Okay, so I got all my H10 laid out. I did have to add the two squares in the center that I forgot to grab, but those were in their own little pile. So I'm going to go ahead and label all of these H10. Okay, now we're going to label focus fabric and the squares in the center are going to be focus fabric. And then the triangles on the outside of the half square are going to be focus fabric. And then you're going to have hourglass shaped focus fabric on the corners and the quarter square triangles. And then we've got these two over here. So, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, we're gonna move on to H11. H11 is also worked from the book and we have all of these triangles that I put in a single pile. It looks like there should be eight of those. And we have these guys, there's four of those. And then these funky looking things. So let me get these in their proper locations. You're gonna notice on these that these triangles are not exactly to the lines. That's okay, because these go over the lines. It's the math that they needed to write, or to cut these is just slightly off, but they will still fit after everything's laid out and look the same design. But, so don't freak out, because I know sometimes it does matter. In this case, it's not gonna matter. So we're gonna have this kind of an effect and you'll be all right. Okay, so now I'm gonna label my pieces H11. Now we're gonna label focus fabric. These points are going to be background, which means the ones that touch them are going to be focus fabric. And then, so it's all, it's every other one in the center thing. And then these big pieces out here are focus fabric as well. I had a uh, stripe design last time I did this, so I had labeled the directional on the arrows. If you have that, you can go ahead and do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and bag this and we can move on to the next round. Next is H12 and H12 is extremely straightforward. You have a four and a half inch block and you have four hearts. We're not gonna worry about placement right now because it doesn't matter, we're not placing it. We're just labeling everything. So I'm gonna put H12 on all the hearts 
and mark them as focus fabric and then bag them and then we can move on to the final block with the rest of the pieces that remain. Last block's H13 and there's four triangles left and three little arrow pieces. So it's pretty straightforward how these go. Now I'm gonna label all of my pieces H13. And lastly, we're gonna mark the focus fabric, which is all of the triangles. And then I can bag this up and be done with the row H bag number two bag sort video.